<laughs> Hello guys, salam alaikum. Welcome back to another video. So, um, I have a very special meal. Uh, this is um, tawiyah. Tawiyah. I'll put the spelling here. Tawiyah. It's um, a plate of um, different kinds of cheeses. Um, we have like craft cheese with um, um, some za'atar olive oil, some feta, some cream, fresh cream, halloumi, and labna. So yes, it's very delicious. And with some vegetables, um, mint, and some jam in the middle. And we have some fresh bread. We have some falafel and pickles and a chicken sandwich <laughs> and some um, hummus. I'm not gonna eat all of this, but I'm gonna eat some of it and then save the rest. Um, so yeah, bismillah, let's start. I'm gonna start with falafel with the hummus. I love falafel. With pickles. A lot of you are not going to understand what I'm about to say or where I'm coming from. And I know that. But that's going to happen. So you take the halloum, you take the jam. I think it's strawberry jam. And you go like that. Fresh mint. This is like an Arab breakfast, but it's like my morning's all. So I have another announcement. And I know people think I'm trolling and I'm doing this reviews. So I'm going to try to explain the best I can to make you kind of understand. And some of you just won't. How I feel right now. And how I've been feeling. It's like I'm in a tug of war, okay? So like, Canada, Kuwait, West, East, East, West, West, East, East, West. And it's actually very confusing for me because I come from Canada, right? But when I'm in Canada, I miss my family here. And when I'm here, I obviously miss my family there. I get moments where I just want to go back to being a mess because changing is a lot harder. I want to go back to just sitting on a reclining couch and being buzzed out of my mind and just Mario beezing. But then I really think about it because you know I'm impulsive. And I think, do I really want that? Do I really want to go back to that I'm instead of thinking I'm setting up a whole new life alone on my own and how can I leave my family here like how can I leave my family I mean, my husband. And my pet. I never said the healthcare was cheaper here. I wish I don't remember saying that, which doesn't make sense because the healthcare in Canada is 
is covered, you know, completely. But I remember how hard it is. It's almost impossible to get a family physician. Anytime I would go to the clinic, if you don't go line up at 8 a.m., the clinic fills up very quickly. It's universal, right? There's going to be long wait times. No system is perfect. No matter where I am, I have to get a grip on a lot of things that have nothing to do with anyone else but me. I'm just very torn. Filling sandwich. I'm just gonna eat half. I don't have like a cube. This is like the first thing I've eaten today. The thing is, is like, I'm sorry that I changed my mind so many times and just confused people. I get my family's hopes up. Because of course they would prefer to have me close. But they also just want me to make my own decisions to be happy. Whiskey. You know, I'm glad they they think that way. What I'm down about right now, honestly, why I seem down is because of my indecisiveness. And it would be fine if it just affected me, but it affects other people around me that I love. So I'm going to stick it out here. Even in Canada, I would isolate a lot. There's a lot of me problems I have to work on no matter what country I'm in. I'll just stick it out. And so I assured me, like, don't worry about money for healthcare because I feel like a burden. It's like, don't worry about that. If you need tests, we'll get them. Like, don't worry. I don't know. I just feel bad. Like,
um, I don't know what to say. I know a lot of you are not going to understand my love for the Middle East. I never understood it until I came here, and I fell in love with it. I also have, I feel like if I went back to Canada, I'd have to be burdened with like a legal battle against someone who literally stalks me. You could say, oh, whatever, if person doesn't stalk you, excuse me? This psycho drove from their city to where I was. I took a check out somewhere I was shopping at. It doesn't matter the reason. That alone is psychotic behavior. And it's happened more than once. So that's a small factor that I would have to deal with, and I, I just don't want to be in the same country as those people either. I'm not physically afraid of the person, I'm just, I don't have to deal with it legal matters. You catch my drift? Beyond that, Those are my reasons. I can't bring myself to imagine living my life without the support of my husband. You can think what you want and can't. But he's a very supportive husband. In a lot of ways. Ways that I would miss a lot on a daily basis, you know? Hey, open up. I don't know why I'm explaining myself, but probably because I announced that I'm going to Canada and now I have to explain why I'm not. And that's why I'm not. And that's my final decision. I will not be recanting because I can't keep doing that. I mean, obviously, if I really want to go back, I will. I feel like Foodie Beauty is truly gone. People who say that I'm bigger here don't remember the days when I first moved into the villa. I was over 400 pounds. 
I wasn't happy either. Less so. I didn't believe in God. I had a huge amount of apathy. So yeah. I'm just disappointed, like I wish I wasn't so impulsive. That's my major beef with myself right now. Anyway. I will try to stay focused on my marriage, Ramadan. By the way, I don't know why I have to even say this, but some people actually believe when I'm being sarcastic. My husband only has one wife. He He doesn't sleep out of the apartment. We live together. We are married. Again, we have to legally be. Ask the ministry yourself if you want to. Whatever. How are people going to believe someone who doesn't live our life over us? Like, or somebody who has no proof. A lot of the time, you know, if we're not going out together, he asks me to come along with him. A lot of the time, I don't feel like it. I'm isolated because I self-isolate. I can go out anytime I want. I just say, can you take me here? Fine, you know. A lot of the time, he encourages me to go out. When I'm in a rut, I don't feel like it. A lot of the time. We're not together. He's video chatting me. Excuse me. The whole time. So, or, or most of the time. <clears throat> Sending me pictures when he's somewhere. So, I've said that a million times. So, I guess that's, I'm going to make that the last time I say that. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I made a joke. I was sarcastic because people, haters, or reaction channels are always saying, he has more than one wife. Um, he lives in another apartment. But then, like, how can we afford all these apartments and wives? Because you have to provide for your wives. You can't just, like, legally, you can't just marry another wife if you're a broke ass, you know? So, <laughs> <coughs> like, you guys really, really know nothing. You speculate, but you're so wrong on a lot of things. But yeah, they'll say, like, um, he has another wife, blah, blah, blah. And whatever. I mean, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt because rumors are rumors. But just know there's no truth to them. And... I was being sarcastic and like, yes, like playing into that, you know, whatever delusion they have. But, um, <laughs> there's really nothing, nothing there. Big fat, nothing burger as usual, you know? I, I hear a lot of people come to me and say that, that, oh, this reaction channel has so many uh, dumb conspiracy theories and whenever they're proven to be not true, um, or inconsistent with, with the truth, people just breeze by it and go for the next conspiracy theory, you know? But yet, people latch on to every little single thing I say. And it's so weird. I don't know, it's like odd behavior. And people are just not like that here. People are just not weird like that. They don't have that mentality. Like, maybe some people, but I've never encountered anyone like that here. And, uh, yeah. And I'm not saying all people are like that in the West, obviously. But I have a lot of awesome followers. And you guys are cool. And I love you guys. But 
all of the weirdo people who are obsessed with me and it's like they ha I don't know I don't know the mentality of people who follow people like that whatsoever so anyways um I guess that's all I have to say I'm gonna continue to work on myself try to seek help here um you know so so I mean Salah's insisting I don't have to worry about you know the monetary side of the healthcare so I'll just trust trust in him on that and uh I guess that takes away a big stress and um I mean I like the healthcare I've utilized so far hasn't been pricey but the point is in Canada everything is just free like because it's covered right but there's long wait times there's always a, a pro and a con to everything so so no matter where I am and I have to ultimately decide where I'm most happy happiest with my new mindset my new faith in God as a Muslim I just feel more comfortable being here for a lot of reasons and um the cost of living is just also lower I keep forgetting that you know like just looking at like one bedroom apartments when I was thinking of going back for a while because I like to have my ultimate privacy I could stay with my mom as long as I want but like I like to have privacy you know and just bed rot in peace <laughs> that's that's what I feel like my life would be like if I go back just bed rotting even more you know because being totally alone I'm a little afraid of that I'm a little afraid of how deep a hole I'll dig myself into I'll just be alone with all of my addictions nothing else Anyway, there won't be anyone to tell me no at all for anything. I can just see myself, Uber Eats. I mean, I'm ordering out now here too, but I don't know. It's like way more affordable. <laughs> and I usually just do it like, I could see myself ordering like a whole bunch of junk food all the time, you know, instead of just for dinner. I don't know. I feel like I would slip further and further away from my faith in Islam because I don't know I just feel like I would tr like go back to a lot of old habits I don't want to and I've come all this way you know even if a lot of you don't see any changes that's fine um, I don't need you to so that's about it I'm still super tired I don't know like this medication I'm taking for my leg for my sciatica makes me really like it's diclonifac or something diclonifac it's called olfin and it's like an analgesic medication but it finally it makes me like drowsy even though it's like i don't know and then my cyprolex i don't know i take i took it like about two hours ago so i'm feeling pretty drowsy <laughs> anyway and i am exhausted with myself battling myself and what i should do and all this and that and i appreciate your opinions i know most of my audience is still from my times in Canada and a Western audience. A lot of most who have not visited the Middle East. So I understand you don't really understand the vibe. You don't understand what I'm going through. And you're thinking, why wouldn't you choose Canada? You know, um, but the Middle East, like people, I read some of the comments and you like people are not stoned here. Like it's actually pretty free. It's like, you know, women can do whatever. And, um, I just, I guess I was just missing my family back in Canada and also some things about my old lifestyle that were comfortable. But yeah, there's no growth in that, in that lifestyle at all. It's more entertaining for a lot of people, but for me, it's not healthy. I don't know. I was on a downward spiral. And I have a lot of bad memories and stuff like that. So I just, I feel like this is more home now, if I can explain it more, like I, I do. Because culturally and religiously, I've just experienced so much here that it just feels weird going back there. I don't know, but I will visit my family and stuff. So at least once a year, <laughs> I'll try to, inshallah. So I guess that's it, enough rambling. I don't think I think I confuse people even more with this video but that's the best I can explain it that's the best I can do all right guys uh, I'll see you guys later bye I'm done